Hello then, AppleReviews.com, and today we're joined by a very special guest because we're talking to John Mayer, the CEO of Blue Microphones. John, how are you doing? I'm doing great. Thanks for having me. Uh, that's good. Thanks for joining us. So what we're going to do today is we're going to have a little conversation with John, and we're going to talk about Blue Microphones, and in particular, we're going to talk about the uh, Blue Microphone, or Blue Mikey, as I believe it's called, that you guys sell. So... First question then, could you tell us maybe a little bit more about yourself, John, before we get talking about the microphones you sell? Sure. Um, you know, I've got into the uh, the audio business kind of from the musician's route. Um, was uh, playing professionally and always very interested in the, the gadgets and the gear that we were using. So slowly kind of wormed my way up through the business and um, over these last 10 or 15 years, uh, have been lucky enough to work for um, you know some of the some of the the best manufacturing companies out there and kind of observing blue from afar. I, I've known those guys for quite a while, and I saw some interesting things happening over these last couple of years, and uh, always wanted to uh, dive into that world and and also be part of uh, a worldwide operation. I had been running um, the uh, U.S. operations for a Danish company called PC Electronic. And um, so it was very exciting for me to get into the, the heart of the matter and kind of be uh, part of the worldwide strategy from product development all the way through the process. So joined Blue last fall as CEO of the company and uh, working real tightly with uh, a private equity firm that uh, that bought the company about two years ago. And uh, it's been a, a great marriage ever since. So we're, we're having a lot of fun. Wow, that's, that's really good. So... You uh, are obviously a sound boffin, um, and if we get talking more about the Blue Mikey, we've got a review unit at the minute. What can you tell us about the way it works then? What kind of uh, special gizmos go into a, a Blue Microphone? Right, right. Well, the the exciting thing is we've been able to take, you know, Blue started 15 years ago as a professional recording studio microphone company. So we've been, you know, had that much experience building the high end and the professional side of the business. And um, we, about three, four years ago, developed a product called Snowball, which is um, arguably the number one selling USB microphone on the market right now. And um, we wanted to take that professional quality sound and put it in a different form, a form that could be used on iPods and iPod touches and iPhones. So what's inside of the Mikey is actually two capsules. So it's a stereo professional uh, condenser recording microphone. So you, you do get left, right stereo recording with it. And uh, it comes into the iPhone through or the iPod through the, uh, the 30-pin connector that everyone's pretty used to using for syncing their iPhone or their iPod um, and um, allows you to get super high-quality recording. So, um, you know, what you're used to is a pretty good microphone on, for instance, the iPhone. Um, and But what you're hearing is mono recording and usually at about 8-bit. Uh, when you plug the mic in, you're at CD quality recording 16-bit, um, and you're now recording in stereo. Uh, and in fact, we have a, an application on the uh, iTunes App Store um, called Blue Fire that uh, allows you to do all kinds of fun stuff when you you put the whole package together. So you've got, say, an iPhone, uh, Blue Fire for free on the App Store, and a mic You've really essentially turned your iPod Touch or your iPhone into a high-end stereo digital recorder wow so considerably higher quality than the built-in microphone um, yeah and obviously you've put a lot of work into that so we've already almost covered it but who what kind of uh, a person would need a blue then or what kind of applications does it suit yeah no that's a great question and, and i think um it's been one of our challenges because it can be used for so many things. It's always hard to figure out, well, how do you market it? Who do you talk to about it? Um, you know, how do you pick one customer out of the 10 different types of customers that can use it? Um, but we see it from anywhere from um, spoken word, like lecture halls, uh, you know, student at college, you know, trying to record and get good quality. One of the key elements in the Mikey is that there's a three-position gain switch 